My name is Abby Spencer, and this is my senior capstone project. I'm currently 18 years old and a student pilot at Avi Air Flight School, where I currently have just above 50 hours of flight time where I worked on numerous procedures to get me ready for my private pilot check ride, which I plan to take later this summer. I absolutely love aviation and every aspect about it, which made me want to be a pilot when I grow up. I've always loved aviation. Just at the age of three, my dad would take me to the airport where I would watch the planes, and I just knew that was what I wanted to do with my life. Always obsessed, looking up at the sky whenever I would hear a plane fly by, I knew that was what I was meant to do. Never once did I consider the fact that I was going to be a minority in the field that I love so much. Only 4% of the United States commercial pilots are female, and only 12.02% are female student pilots. That's such a small minority that should be growing. My goal with this project is to create a source that new student pilots can go to and watch and understand and get a basic idea of what it is like. It is also really important to me to have this video be a source of inspiration for young female pilots. Because there are so few women in aviation, I decided to talk to another female student pilot. Her name is Bonna and she lives in Atlanta. I met her through aviation photography. This is my good friend Bonna. Um, we met in Atlanta like a good two months ago? No, three. Yeah, something like that. Um, so you're also a student pilot, obviously, and a um, plane spotter. So um, how did you get into aviation? It's kind of something that I've always enjoyed. Like when I was younger, my favorite part of family vacations would always be flying there. Me too. So I, don't really, I don't really have a solid answer. It's just kind of, it's been something that's always interested me. And I've always loved it. Um, so do you ever feel like pressure from like, or do you ever feel like this, like, feeling of just being, like, the only girl and, like, feeling like, you know, it's just, like, all guys and you're kind of, like, trapped almost? When I first kind of got into flying, or, like, when I first started wanting to learn more about flying and then when I first started learning to fly, it kind of felt like that, but I'm lucky and I found some very good friends very quickly, so I've made some very good guy friends from it and now I've met a lot of girls, so I do feel that kind of pressure from society that, oh, you're a girl, you shouldn't be flying. Flying is not for girls, but like within the community of everyone who likes planes, I don't really feel that way because everyone's just so supportive. How do you feel about, like, society's role of, like, women, you know, they shouldn't be flying, it's not their place? Because, like, it obviously bothers me, considering I'm doing an entire project on it. Um, I'm very happy to see how it's been changing in recent years, and I love to see how many more women are becoming interested in kind of aviation and science-related things. But I do feel that it is still something that needs to be, we need to make it more, we need to um, have more awareness towards it, and encourage more girls to go into it because I do feel like a lot of girls are still oppressed into feeling that they will be the only one and that they can't do it. So there needs to be more support for young girls that want to go into science. I like that. Okay, last thought for the uh, viewers. Um, so any advice you have to any young females who want to get into this kind of a field? Don't be scared. Uh, if you want something, there's no harm in trying. Um, Definitely try to, if you're interested in something, for sure, just start learning more and ask questions and don't be afraid to ask for help or just try and find someone to get you going in the right path because there's many, many organizations and many people that are out there willing to help and willing to show you where you need to go to get involved. I love that. Before you fly, there's many things that you have to do before you get in the airplane. You talk to your instructor for a little bit about ground school and things that you're going to go over, and then you pre-flight the aircraft. Then from there, you go into your lesson. So I'm going to show you my favorite footage from one of the best lessons I ever have my instructor to Plum Island Airport in Plum Island, Massachusetts. Beverly Tower, Cherokee 1531 Juliet, holding short of runway 27, departure for the right turn out, please. 1531 Juliet, Beverly Tower, right turn out's approved, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Number 27, clear for takeoff, 1531, Juliet. Left. Uh, clear with that one. Alright. got two notches in the flaps. Alright. Alright, we got 27 in the paint, 27 in the DG, whenever you're ready. Good. Gages are all in the green. Airspeed's coming alive, should be expecting rotation right around 1,000 footers. Base here 60, positive rotation. Good for the option. Uh, climb away at 63. Alrighty. 
Over the nose, just a tad, so you get to that 63. 50 feet clear of obstacles, flaps up one at a time. Good job, Abby. Alright, where are we in relation to the Plum Island Airport? Uh, looks like we're currently south, southwest. Good. Alright. So they're probably going to wait 28 to make sure you're nice and trimmed up for it. Alright. Plum Island traffic, Cherokee 1531 Juliet. Currently 10 miles in the south, southwest. Going to join the 45 midfield runway 28. Plum. Alright, you're pretty much on a 45, so you just kind of maintain the setting for now. Uh, once I get on, um, established on the downwind, yep. I'll announce the att attention. Plum Island traffic, Cherokee 1531 Juliet is currently on the downwind for runway 28. Plum. A little more left pedal, there you go. Plum Island traffic, Cherokee 1531 Juliet on base to final for runway 28. Plum. Yep, don't raise the nose. Yep. Tower idle. Keep working on that center line. Keep working on that center line. So the approach was phenomenal until until we started raising the nose a little bit yep. instead of adding the power. Exactly. All right, so you lined up. Do not just the flaps. Yeah, hey, maybe get yeah, good. Plum Island traffic, Cherokee one five three one Juliet is taking runway two eight. We need to be left close traffic. Plum. Gauges look like they're in the green. Airspeed's coming alive. There we go. Hold us at 63. Oh, it's avoided. And climb to 80. Keep working on that 80. There you go. All right, fly the approach a little bit steeper, and then we can just kind of jockey with our power as required. Pull my own traffic, Cherokee 1531 Juliet on. Buff downwind for runway 28 plump. All right, so hold that center line all the way back in there. Plum Island traffic, Cherokee 1531, Juliet on, front, on final for runway 28, Plum. Keep working on that center line a little bit to the right right now. Let's right, go idle. Whatever you think, yeah. Yeah, keep working on that center line all the way that way. And kind of figure out how much left rudder you needed to keep us nice and straight. Keep working it. That was the best one. Thank you. When I first started to fly, I had a really hard time grasping the concept and everything that just encompasses flying. But with hard work and dedication, I was able to persevere and fully become the pilot that I am today. Just remember that with hard work and dedication, you'll be able to get to where you want to be. That's the mindset that I'm going to take until I get to the left seat of a commercial airliner.